So the very first thing that we have to consider in making a data science project is that we need first to define, we need to identify our business case. And why do we have to do this one? We have to do this because this serves us as our guide in understanding and identifying and setting the boundaries of our goal. So our goal must be, it is really very important that we have to remember that our goal must be specific, it must be measurable, it must be attainable, it must be realistic, and it must be time-bound. So don't forget these five things in identifying and creating your business goals. Assuming that we have already built our data science case very much properly, what then would be our next step? So this next step is actually very important because this has something to do with data, the kind of data that we need. So our second step is that we need to obtain the correct data. It's not any other data, but it must be the correct data. So why do we need to have the correct data? So as we go along with our discussion, we're going to understand what we mean by correct data. So in obtaining the correct data, we always have to think that it must be of high quality. And what do we mean when we say high quality data? So there are some parameters, there are some tests that we need to answer, that we need to really understand. So I'm going to give you just three parameters that we have to always consider so that we would be able to obtain high quality data, which gives us the correct data. The first one is that you have to ask yourself, is this kind of data reliable? Is it correct? The second one is that, is your data complete? Is your data comprehensive? And the third one is that, is your data legit? Is it valid? Is it accessible? So these are just some of the questions that you have to ask yourself so that you would be able to obtain the correct data. So we are not going to deal deeper into these parameters or tests, we're going to have these tests in another video because I think that we really have to deal in each of these tests very properly. So before you start your model, you first have to see to it that your data is available. And again, when we say data, it is not just any other data. And we've been seeing this one, it must be the correct data. And with regard to this kind of thing, which is availability, we always have to think of accessibility. So when we say accessibility, it has something to do with persons who can access to the data. And most likely these persons we're talking about are the data engineers and the database administrators. So these persons have the direct access to the database because they have the appropriate permissions to access to whatever data that we need. So as you could see, when we talk about a data science project, we are not just talking about a person who can make the analysis, but we also need someone who has the skill in accessing to the data. Of course, we can never ask the executive or even the end users to help us in accessing the data because most of these people do not really have the proper know-how with regard to the database. Unless, of course, when these persons are into the database administration or database engineering, and of course, these persons can really help us access, but then if they don't have these talent, then we need these data engineers and database administrator to help us access the correct data. And the next question here would come in, can the data engineer or database administrator can really identify the correct data? Of course, the answer here is not really. It's because these persons do not really understand. They do not have enough knowledge to identify what are these variables that we need for us to deal with a certain business case. So let's always remember that in making our model, and not just any other model, but it must be the best model, we always have to use the proper or the right variable. And choosing the right variables, we need executive experts we need the end users because these people will tell us what are these properties, what are these factors, what are these variables that are very essential in making our model. So with this being said, it is always very important that 
the executive experts, the database administrators, or the data engineers have communication from time to time. They have to work together. They have to have a meeting and discuss very properly as to what kind of data, what properties of data that are very significant in making a certain machine learning project very successful. But then, of course, our problem does not end there because in some cases, what we need is not present in our database. In some cases, we need to find the data elsewhere. What I mean here is that we need to access external sources and only if, if it is available. So as you could see, we are creating our data in making a data science project. So if you are a student, if you are a data science enthusiast, I always advise you to create your own data it's because this really can help you to have the first-hand experience of what's really going on in the real data science project making. So in this first phase of our data science project lifecycle, I believe that there are actually a lot of things that are coming into our minds. There are a lot of questions popping out. And one of these questions can be, what could be the amount of data that we're going to use? And in most cases, we are gathering we are obtaining a lot of data and we call this a one-off collected data dump and this means that we have huge amount of data and this huge amount of data is actually very much sufficient in making our data science project model and maybe you would like to ask me how are we going to use them what is this data dump for so remember that in making our data science project we always have to divide that into two so we have the part for training and we have the part for validating. So in my other videos, I talked about how to train your data, how to validate your data. So I suggest you watch these lessons because this really can help you on how to make data validation and data testing. So before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe because you can learn a lot of lessons from our mastering machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing, and many courses. I believe that these courses can really help you make your data science journey a lot more fun. So granting that, you already have your model. And the next question is this, what would be the next thing that you're going to do? And here in this case, the data dump that we already have is not actually useful in this case. And why is that? It's because we need to have other sources of data we need to have the outside application of our model for us to be able to really test if this model is really very effective and efficient. So here in this case, our model is now in operation. It is operational. And what we are going to do is that we're going to look for other set of data to implement our model. And usually in this case, the problem really comes in. And maybe you would like to ask me, what is this problem? The problem here is actually more complicated than what you expect it to be. It's because we may not have the access to some databases. And because these databases are difficult to access to, it's very difficult for us also to integrate them into our application. And why is that? It is because these databases do not have communication with each other. And what we need to do is that we're going to make a system in such a way that these databases can have communication. And some databases, if not really most of them, are not built for this kind of situation. And this is also the problem when we are talking about external sources and this is actually making our job more difficult. Of course, there are security measures that we have to respect, especially when that database concerns that of another private entity that even if we do have some permission to access to it, we may not be able to access those data, those properties of data that we need for us to be able to test our model. Because of this situation, it is always better to think this kind of situation while we are still building our model because this really can help us to design what kind of model we're going to make. And also this can also shape the kind of objective, business objective that we are going to make. So because of this kind of problem, about databases. So I always suggest that you have to have 
and infrastructure in your company you have to invest in it because it's really very important that you have your own infrastructure for storing your data so that when you need it you can always pull the metric that you want without fear of rejection of your request to access to it so do you want to know more about my channel don't forget to click the card on your right screen you can enjoy our deep learning mathematics mastering machine learning algorithm natural language processing courses and a lot more and you can always learn and upskill for free